Good afternoon, people. We are a typical Sunday afternoon dinner. Uh, we all, the, the family get together every Sunday and, and uh, break bread together, if you will, and have a good dinner and fellowship. Uh, tonight's menu is going to be uh, oven fried chicken. And uh, I've already washed the chicken. And uh, a little trick I like to show you people. See this bottle? See this kitchen shears? Just cut that bottle like that and it sharpens them up. Now also I have a little ceramic, uh, uh, ceramic uh, uh, knife sharpener. And what I do is, if they're real dull, like if we grandkids got the whole oven cut in cardboard, just barely put pressure down on, on the end of the the, uh, the ceramic stick and push. And push. Push. I do it about four times. Alright, now, when you get to that point, put it up to your ear. I don't know if you can hear it on a little crunch. That's a little shavings coming off. A little shavings coming off. After I do that, then I get with the bottle and I start cutting that bottle like that. And that's just fine tuning it, fine tuning it. Uh, you can also, uh, after you've uh, honed your uh, your knife on the uh, uh, on a knife sharpener, you can come back here and get your oil bottle. Up one, down one, up one, down one, up one, down one, on both sides, up one, down one. And what that does is that fine tunes that knife razor, razor sharp. I don't need to caution you people about being safe with your knives. Now, there's a few things I like to take cut off here on the chicken, and little small bone stuff. I normally do that when I'm over, over the sink washing them. Washing them off. See that how, how quick that is right there? See how quick that is? That is lovely. My wife loves me since I showed her that trick. We used to throw away scissors all the time until I found this trick. And uh, okay, I think that's about it. But what? Let, let me show you how how I do this when the uh, when the breasts are you get get a hold of some of them uh, breasts are like. Uh, Pterodactyl wings, and breast, <laughs> uh, chickens on uh, on uh, on uh, what they call it steroids. See how see how quick that was. See, I'm gonna show you one more time. See? Look at that. Look at that. That's going right across the bones, right across the bones. See, see how good that is. Now I got arthritis, my wife's got arthritis, and that helps out a whole lot. Okay, uh, I'll give that to the file 13. All right, now, another thing I got here, I made up. I found this uh, via YouTube. Uh, it's uh, three tablespoons onion powder, three tablespoons of dark granulated onion powder, three tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of uh, parsley, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Quote, unquote, baking powder. Now what that baking powder is going to do is going to help dry out the skin to where we have a uh, uh, a good crunchy skin on this and what I'll do is I'll let this sit for about an hour I'll cover it up with some paper little foil what have you and let it sit for an hour to help draw out some of that moisture of the uh, of that skin I think it's real important that we, uh, we all get together and share a meal 
Some of the best memories I have of my grandmother is, is uh, food. You say grandma, first thing that pops in my mind is something she had cooked. We have nieces and nephews argue about what Uncle Joe cooked and who got the best meal. My wife, she goes to the, uh, uh, the baking and the pies, what have you. Their favorite cookies, their, their favorite pies. You know, it's all, it's all a beautiful argument. And um, me and the wife, we just, we feed off of it. Okay, now, we got all this all ready for the, uh, for the oven now. Now, I have not put any oil or anything, butter or anything like that on my, uh, on my breast, on these chicken breasts. Now, I always think it's important to get the biggest piece of the meat to the center of your baking sheet. To me, it, uh, it seems like it just does a, uh, a lot better job of cooking a little bit e uh, quick, evenly. All right, I'm gonna cook this at uh, 425 degrees for about uh, an hour, and then I'll temp it, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, see what that comes up after that. Okay, this is the end of part one. Y'all bear with me, I, I haven't learned how to do all this uh, cutting and splicing and everything else that has to go with uh, making a video for you people. So this is part one, part two coming up later.